So here goes. Okay. All right, there you go. If everybody could put their mics on mute, please. Um, so while we're, we're silent and in the meditation, I don't be any um, distraction of noise from your rooms. Appreciate that. Let's see what is this one? I have this ready in my phone. I'm ready to clean. This is the image that remains on the screen through the meditation. So if you're open your eyes and just want to focus outward, you can uh, look at this. Um, so let's start. Um, I'll start the guided part, just getting settled and comfortable position in your room, in your chair. Comfortable but alert. And let's start with, someone has their mic on, if you could make sure your um, mic's on mute. So let's start with bringing our attention to our breath, to the gentle rise and fall of our breathing. Just being with our own breath, really close and intimate way for a moment. Just letting the rhythm of the breath start to settle us, center us. Just enter into the present moment. That's good. And now imagining Baba's smile filling the whole sky above our heads, or the Buddha smile, filling the whole sky. A smile of deep peace, contentment, love, serenity. And what we do is we start to bring that smile inside us, 
starting with bringing the smile into inside our face, inside our head, from the corners of the eyes, letting the eyes, the corners just start to smile across the brow. Even inside the eyes, let the eyes start to soften like eyeballs like uh, two lotus flowers floating in a pond. Letting the smile come around the corners of the mouth. Inside the mouth. The tongue down to the root of the tongue. Letting the jaws unhinge naturally a little bit as it be loosened, let go. And as we breathe with a smile, there's an overall softening, letting go. We're not opposing anything, we're not resisting anything, just receiving. Inside the shoulders, just experiencing the shoulders from the inside. Bringing the smile there. And if there's any tightness or tension, it's okay. Just oftentimes just bringing awareness to that helps it to loosen and let go on its own. It's not trying to force anything to happen. Breathing in, space, awareness, his smile, inside the shoulders, front and back. As the shoulders just naturally kind of fall away a little bit from the ears as they let go. Overall, as the body softens and the micro muscles we don't need to keep, keep tense, start to loosen. There's just a sense of melting, letting the mind just melt into the body, like ice melting into water. Letting the awareness move down both arms, the length and volume of the arms to the hands, sensing the hands and fingers from the inside. Bringing a smile there so that it's dealing with life, awareness, space. Oftentimes you can feel some tingling, life energy in the fingers, toes, and the extremities. It's good. Bringing awareness again to the chest and the breath and all the way down to the belly. Belly softening with each breath. With this breath. And this breath. Bringing a smile into the whole pelvic region inside. All the organs there and the space between the organs. Going with awareness and space and his smile, the energy of his smile. The whole body is starting to feel with his presence, the live, vibrating energy of his presence. Now the length and volume of the legs to the feet. Feeling into and listening to the feet from the inside. The toes. Feeling and tingling life energy. Energy of his presence there. Then widening the lens of our awareness to include the, our whole 
body is a radiating field of energy and presence, alive, vibrating, aware. Okay, good. So let's now start to focus more on our heart. If you want, it helps to make connection to the heart uh, chakra or by putting the right hand on your upper chest. You don't have to leave it there the whole time. It's up to you if you want to or not, but just making that connection to the heart. <clears throat> Breathing in and out of the heart. This happens naturally. It's a bit more of a subtle breath than our normal breathing. Just be with that. Breathing in through the heart, a smile, his presence, filling the heart. And also just noting whatever mood is there right now in the heart. Not trying to change it, but just being with it. Compassion. It's the heart feel open or closed, flowing, twisted. Whatever's there, just be with it. Now the felt sense. Sometimes it helps me ask the heart, how are you doing today? Let's start now to more intentionally invoke his presence by breathing in with the heart breath, his name, whatever name you have for the most high, whether it's Baba, Buddha, Jesus, Great Spirit, the One, just placing that name deep in the heart with the breath, so slowly with the breath. It's Baba, it's Baba. The Allah, 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 the One. It's letting the heart start to open more, going deeper and deeper as the heart opens into the deep heart, where we can really begin to feel and experience the divine presence. And just to go even further with some, uh, more than just the name, invoking his presence, his physical presence, even his form, whatever, uh, say if it's Mayor Baba, whatever age that the Baba was, it appeals to you. Just bringing him right into the heart and being with him there, inviting him and in, welcoming him in. And then just drinking and drinking and drinking the love and the light. The Sufis say, all hearts are thirsty for this love. And that's true. Continuing to allow the heart to open and see like a rose opening in the morning sunlight in the spring. It's 
good. So from here, let's make a conscious connection to all the other hearts in this Zoom meeting and anyone who joins us at a later date. Just connecting your heart to the hearts of everyone else in this meeting. So that we, our hearts are joined together out of our common concern for what's happening in Ukraine. And with our intention to transmit the heart as a receiver and a transmitter to transmit what we receive from our beloved transmitting consciously, intentionally, love, mercy, compassion, sympathy, strength, power, based on the truth to the heart of the Ukraine. Just picture the heart of that country, that, that prayers are going into the heart of that country. And everyone who is there in that country or any Ukrainian anywhere in the world, is connected to their heart. And then also to the heart of Russia. And the heart of the leaders of that country. Prayers for peace, for oneness. So the rest of the time we'll sit in silence, just in your own way, maybe you can imagine this crater of vessel inside that's alive and energy, flowing with energy, divine energy, you know, whatever your image for that vessel is. Um, <clears throat> uh, beads on one string or a uh, boat or whatever, chalice. And just silently, we'll just transmit that. I'll lead a prayer at some point.
<laughs> Heavenly Father, hear our prayers for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. Lord, we ask for peace for those who need peace, reconciliation for those who need reconciliation, and comfort for all who don't know what tomorrow will bring. Lord, may your kingdom come and your will be done. Lord God, we ask for you to be with all, especially children who are suffering as the crisis in Ukraine deteriorates. Lord, for those who are anxious and fearful, for those who are bereaved, injured, or have lost their lives, and for those who have lost loved ones, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, we ask that decision makers hear your voice. Parents protecting their families, deciding whether to stay or leave. Church leaders, as they support and comfort people. And Lord, we ask for wise actions from global leaders who have the power not only to start wars, but to stop them too. And Father God, we cry out for an end to this crisis, for mercy, peace, and truth, because you are light, hope, power, and love. Amen. Amen.
And so let's just start to gently, slowly just come back into ourselves. Oh, with this blessing, may we come home to the light, love, and aliveness that's our deep nature. May we live our lives from loving presence. May that loving presence ripple out in a way that brings peace and healing to our world. So spend a moment just giving thanks and appreciation to our beloved, to the one, for whatever, for hearing our prayers, for whatever you received. And to all those who participated today, and also to all the people everywhere in the world who are sending their prayers to the Ukraine. And also set, setting our intention to um, keep this energy of this, uh, our connected hearts, our vessel alive um, throughout the week that whenever you have time, even for 20 seconds, washing dishes, walking a dog, uh, just go inside and just transmit again, connect and then transmit again. And so we all do that and we all uh, keep this alive so it doesn't end just here with, with uh, today. Something that uh, continues to vibrate and transmit. All right. Joe, could you put a link to the, the singing, today's singing? Uh, uh, yeah, hold on. Let me, uh, so let's just sit quietly for a moment with ourselves and let me do that. And I'm going to go off uh, screen share here and end the recording. Stop share. Uh, stop recording. Sorry, I want to stop it. I meant to stop.